Why? <laughs> okay, so we're having some serious, like, audio problems, and I don't know what it's from. Like, it's almost as if the computer just totally deleted everything I've been using the past four years. Don't know why! <laughs> um, can you still kind of hear the music? Kind of? Maybe? Here, I have these up, too. Oh, and it's doing the autofocus, damn it. Peachy Basil, hi! Bumble, hi! Serenity, does it sound good, really? It's using, like, the microphone to hear the music, which is kind of janky, but, you know. Hi, Greg! Bobby Glitter Sparkles, hi, Lacey. Cutest little cartoon. Oh, you haven't been here when I've shown that, have you? I'm glad you like it. Thank you. <laughs> if uh, Twitch was more lucrative, I would make more uh, more animations for it, but lo and behold. <laughs> How's everybody's Saturday? Hopefully better than mine's going. Is it too loud? Like, is the music too loud or is it okay? Does it sound low quality? Like, what's it like? It's super curious. Um, you nerd, I missed your face. I missed you too, Greg. Chilly Welsh evening, that sounds nice. You think it's fine? Really? I wonder if it's actually better than <laughs> what I used to have. That'd be kind of funny. Okay, a uh, couple things. First off, these things. It's this thing at the bottom. It's my monthly mythical guardian who's what's. So if you like what you see here, including getting some lore and some stories about this little guy, um, check out my Patreon, which I can kind of throw in here. So instead of subscribing to me on Twitch, which you don't get anything for and I don't have many emojis, you might as well go on my Patreon and do like a $1 or starting at $3 you get some stuff. This is at the $8 tier, but it's physical, you know, it's not digital stuff, so. Okay. Mm, hazelnut pep, you uh, Let's see what else, there's that. So I'm gonna be doing a couple things on stream. Um, I have a couple cravings that I need to kind of kibosh, so to speak. Um, I'm gonna do like a little pumpkin merchant type thing. I wanna make a couple things I can sell for October. Um, but luckily the things I wanna sell are also the things I wanna make. So that's a really nice balance to have when you're doing some art junk. Gonna be better after my last shift at Denny's. Hey, how long has it been, Greg? How long have you worked there? At least as long as you've known us. That's been a while. Um, also, I was thinking about calling you guys by your actual screen names. I know that wasn't what I used to do, um, but I was thinking about, well, if people come in and I'm calling you by your first names, no one's gonna know who I'm talking to. I feel dumb about that. I liked the personal intimacy that was a part of that, like me knowing your first names and like we're buddies and all that stuff. But at the same time, it's hard for people to follow, I think, you know, to connect in the chat and everything. So uh, also I'm going to be doing some animal portraits, um, not my typical one so like more Victorian spooky base and then I'm gonna I was thinking it'd be cool <laughs> if like I did a let's say a bat right maybe he looks all Victorian but that's really you know bleh, normal right but if I do a skull and some skeleton stuff in glow-in-the-dark paint that could be kind of cool so it's like a I don't know two punch portrait so to speak so you'd get the skeleton portrait, but you'd also get the regular, hey, this looks cool portrait. Um, so I'm gonna try to attempt all that today. See how that goes. Um, so in the meantime, I've got these templates that I use. I've got a whole bunch of them. They're all just, you know, little pieces of cardstock, but 
I put how big they are on them so I can just throw them down on some paper and then just trace them and I'm there. Um, so that ends up being kind of nice. You feel pretty prepared when you can do that. Um, you don't have to spend time actually drawing squares because for some reason I'm actually really bad at two things. Cutting things out with scissors. I don't know why I'm so bad at that. And uh, drawing squares with a ruler. Really dumb stuff. I can't, I don't know. There's something about it I can't figure it out. And I know that's really dumb. You don't have to tell me it's really dumb. I know it's really dumb, but can't do it. I don't get it. Three and a half years. Dang, Greg. Ninja. Dang. Well, it's for everybody else, Greg. It, like, you know, um, Ninja. God, that's gonna be hard. I could do that. I could try. So you want me to say Poppy Glitter Sparkles Lacey every time? Come on. <laughs> How about just Poppy? That's cute. I mean, it's why you have the name, right? Like, if I was in somebody's chat and they were like calling me Ashley, I gotta be honest, I'd be a little bit disillusioned just because I have the name for a reason. Call me Cloverkin, you know, because I don't like my name. <laughs> So, all right. Anyway, for ease, I'm just gonna call you by usernames. Please know I do know your real name. You can quiz me at any moment, it's okay. At least if you've been here a while. Um, let's see. Yeah, pumpkin merchant. So I gotta figure out what a pumpkin merchant would look like. I'm thinking a squirrel, because they're usually always eating pumpkins after Halloween, because they're jerks. You guys know I like rodents. But something about squirrels, I can't do it. They're just, they're entitled. They, they, they're they entitled to everything they, you know, that's out there. All the birds' food is theirs. All of the chipmunk food is theirs. They're bullies. I don't like squirrels. Anyway, so I guess I'd make a squirrel. I don't know. Or a chipmunk. Crazy busy weekend. So much filming. That's good, though. Uh... Bob Bumble, oh my god. That's so cute. Hey, Bob. An ice cream truck? I am sorry to have misled you. There is no ice cream. Not now, not ever. Sorry. Oh, really, Pylon? Something to do with your leather working? Try not to use the entire word of leather working. It'll just... It'll kill your presence. Remember to keep it short. Isn't that just Tabitha? Serenity? Greg, can I just call you either Radical or Ninja? One of those two? Pick one. Help me. Squirrel Entitlement. I'm serious. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. They're, they're very much like that. They're very entitled. Um... Let's see how far out I can move my camera without it falling over. Oh, and this is gonna suck with this autofocus crap. Why does it say enable? Okay, so their menu is backwards. <laughs> enable means disable. FYI. Sometimes technology, you just hurt me. You just hurt me. Where is my... You guys, give me a highlight of your week. Help me out. <laughs> I need some something good. Give me something good. I'm gonna use this. Because. As long as it has some lead. Really, Serenity? Oh, please explain that. I really want to know. Is it like Tabitha or Tabutha? Bertha? 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 Tabutha? <laughs> oh, ninja. Yeah. Well, F him. You're my ninja. Because he's a chump. He's a chump, man. 
Draftsman leather. I still think it's kind of long, Pylon. That's my opinion, though. You don't need to go with it. If you think it'll work out, go with it. Okay. Man, this sucks. I need to just, like, chop this in half. Maybe I'll just do it this way. So I was thinking about doing prints of some of my ATCs, like, uh, and then selling them as like a little pack. But I'm also going to do an ATC art book at some point, which maybe by New Year, something like that, because I've got enough of them at this point. I've got a whole ton. Because I'm doing at least 10 a month for my patrons and then some on top of that. So. Sorry about all this finagling. I have to set it up and take it down every time. So it's at my actual desk, so. Oh, really? Oh, Poppy, that'd be great. That's a good use for him. Um, let's see if I can move this over. No. I've got a, a laptop here I'm using to look at your chat because <laughs> I am old, <laughs> and the text on Streamlabs is very, very small. Oh, that's true, Greg. I remember you bringing her up. And truth be told, I totally forgot to look her up. I am so sorry. I am a bad friend. <laughs> Why don't you do something more fun, Pylon? Like, if you're gonna be, like, engraving or, um, not engraving, but, what's the word? Embossing a lot? Maybe use words that are like what you do, so it's not exactly so literal, and you could add some flair to it, like, gnome and boss or something. I don't know. Something that's more unique, that's using some uh, adjectives and nouns together that wouldn't usually be thrown together, but they're still short. Like, if you want to do a fantasy kind of motif, maybe look at some fantasy words or races or something, like emboss elf, I don't know. Stuff like that, where you're just, you know, taking some words that are very leather working but still more generic and then taking some fantasy terms since it seems like your leather working will never kind of go outside of that but that's up to you if you actually think it will or not but i don't know being too literal might just kind of sound a little bit more corporate i don't know if you want that either maybe you don't my unsolicited advice there you go <laughs> i have a problem with giving unsolicited advice but, I mean, you're here, right? You're telling me stuff, so I can kind of go off of that. Also, Gabe's here. He's just very quiet. So if anybody wants to talk to Gabe, Gabe is here. Aren't you, Gabe? Hello. Gabe is here. Hi, Meow. How are you? <laughs> Peachy Basil. See? But that's, like, you can't forget that. I think that's cool. I technically put together clover and kin that was my whole thing so i wanted like family of clover you know that's how i got it but yeah i think you know what i usually tell people when i was giving my like branding workshop or whatever make a couple columns have columns of nouns adjectives verbs all kinds of things but just have these columns write your favorite words down everybody has favorite words you just you gotta think of them sometimes so write down all your favorite nouns all your favorite adjectives all that and then just start kind of cross crossing them together like if your favorite noun is acorn and you like the color black which is an adjective um you know black acorn or uh running a verb uh and a noun leaf running leaf stuff like that it kind of ends up i guess sounding like native american names sometimes but um 
those are cool just in general so no but try the try the column thing that'll help you kind of focus more on smaller things to get down and then you can start crossing them of your school yeah it is really hard I rebranded when did I do it 2017 I think it was it was on my birthday I changed all my social media I think it was 2017 to Cloverkin from what it used to be which was terrible it's not good but um, it's good to treat it I say like a tattoo um, so if you figure out a name before you go across all social media trying to nail it down you want to actually sit on it for a bit I would say like a week and see how it feels, and in that time, do research, make sure all the social media outlets have it open, nobody's taken it. Because I gotta tell you, I've got Cloverkin everywhere except Twitter, and it drives me nuts. There's one girl that has Cloverkin, and I have Cloverkin art, and you wouldn't believe how many times I have to like go through and search for people adding at Cloverkin. And they mean me, but they tag that other lady, so I have to go and actually respond to them through the search. It's a pain in the ass. So if you can just get it across everything, shoot for that. Just don't do anything on a whim, you know? Try to sit on it for a little bit, make sure it's you, make sure it feels like you. Uh, also try it, like, in terms of if people were talking to you as that person, like if they came up to you at a convention, and that's what you're called, what would they call you? Like shorthand. Um, I've had people call me Clover, Clo, um, stuff like that, and see how you feel about that. You know, like Gabe, unfortunately, is in a situation he can't rebrand, and he should, but he can't because he's been sitting on it too long. So people call him Galv instead of Gabo, which I was thinking if you were like Gabo Man or Gabo sore sort of thing. I know we've talked about this, but if he had Gabo in his actual username, he'd be called that shorthand. But instead, people call him Galv because of the Galvasaur uh, angle. So it's, see what I mean? It's, it's hard. So you got to think about all these intricacies of it before you actually nail something down. Lambikini, cute. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Pylon, you've been with me forever. You remember my old name. Yeah, it sucks. And try to keep it short. That's another thing. Because, I mean, just trying to tell people who you are or writing it out. Like, if you were trying to tell somebody uh, in passing what your name was, make sure that they could get it just by saying it. You know, and then if you have to write it down, you can do it really quick, right? So it's, there are all these little rules, but they're all really good kind of branding things. Because you think about successful brands, think about how they're named and, and what they look like, you know? A lot of the time, ones that kind of have imagery to them help. You know, the fact it's Cloverkin, it's got a clover in it, that's helpful, you know? Hi, Dennis. I'm going to be calling you DM, okay? I'm trying to go away from the first name basis thing for a bunch of reasons. Including privacy. I'm sure Twitch has a privacy problem. Okay. Let's see. Oh man, I'm at a really bad angle for this. <laughs> uh, let me... You know what? Maybe that's okay. You've been called worse. Well, you picked the name, let's be honest. All right, if I can move this down without it. There we go. It's a little better. Um, I had to be above my workspace. Okay, so all the things I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to end up selling. So, if anybody ends up liking them, let me know. You can, you get first dibs, you're here. Also, if the music is too loud, let me know. Like I said, the music when we started off was 
janky, so I had to figure something out kind of quick. I need a ruler. Do you by chance know how to study your, how sturdy your mouse keychains are? I want to use more. Rooney, please don't. You know what, Poppy? If you want to just be my first tester with that, um, if you break him, I'll give you a new one. We'll consider this the stress test, okay? Because <laughs> I'm not sure, um, but I'd like to know. So if you want to put him through some trials uh, and see how he, he holds up, if he does end up breaking, I'll get you a new one. Um, but I really want to know. <laughs> I want to know too. Did I or did the name pick me? I like to think the name picked you, but you know. Yeah, put him on your bag. And then if he gets lost, someone else gets him. You know, so paying it forward, I guess. Way to go, Bruni. She's already blowing it. And just a reminder uh, with what we were talking about last week, um, I am going to be doing YouTube videos at some point too. It's going to be a little bit until I get some time. But um, if you want to actually like sub to me on YouTube, which is following, I wish they wouldn't use subscribe because it's, it's misleading nowadays. Um, if you want to follow me on there, just Google Cloverkin YouTube because I don't have enough followers to do the Clover or, or youtube.com slash Cloverkin yet. You have to have a certain amount of followers to do that. So you Google it, you'll find it. Um, let me find this one thing that I was kind of using as a reference. Reference. Serious. There we go. Cactus! Hi! How are you? Yeah. Phil made up the name. That Phil guy. Oh, there you go, Pylon. That's a good idea. They'll keep it sturdy. Serenity, I know you need a hundred followers for, um, no, it's a thousand followers for monetization. I don't know how much it is for the name, because I have 200 right now on YouTube, um, and I still couldn't do it, so I don't, I don't know what it is. Awesome. Thank you, Poppy. I actually want this to be a little bit smaller, I think. So I'm gonna... Remember, even if you're doing circle type things in here, in your... Uh... Oh god, all my lines are off now. This is what I get for eyeballing shit. But you know what? It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. This will be a pumpkin. Or a squash. Big old fatty pumpkin. And like I said, I think I wanted to do on an awning of some kind. Get rid of this, because that's confusing. When you're doing a kind of isometric perspective like this, it does not have to be, like, exact in any, like, facet. You don't have to have it ever really be exact. Um, it's good to make it look like it's right. And like a, a lot of art, as long as it looks right, you're okay. Um, 
But I mean, it's always good to use a reference if you can. Uh, at least until you feel kind of comfortable. But at the same time, you know, don't let that hinder your imagination. Cactus are going to be really short tutorials. Um, and I mean short, like 30 seconds short. Uh, tutorials and um, like little pep talks, you know? Because I have so much to say and I say a lot during my Twitch streams and I've got it to a point where when somebody asks like, how do you find your style? I can actually like concisely tell somebody what my answer is now and I feel like if I just have <laughs> a YouTube video, I can just shoot at them. Because um, Twitch unfortunately is very impermanent and it's it's not only impermanent, but it's also kind of a hassle to share with people. Um, because, you know, it's it's usually a long stream. It's a little convoluted. There's a lot of conversation. So you have to almost dig through it to get the, the nuggets of info, right? So unless somebody clips it, but no one really clips Twitch videos anymore either. It's the same problem as... Uh, the bits and donations, like that side of Twitch has just died. I remember when Gabe and I started, um, people were clipping things all the time and it was just part of, you know, being on, on Twitch, but everything's just kind of died down in terms of, of what it uses. But yeah, mainly tutorials and pep talks. Um, so hopefully I can start doing those soon. The first kind of tutorials I'll have are most likely going to be um, how to draw a braid really easily. Three lines. Two lines. Two lines in one guide <laughs> to make a braid. Some of you have seen me do it on here uh, live, but I figure I'll just do it in a YouTube video so it's easily shareable. Um, and it'll take 20 seconds. Not even. Uh, and then the other one was going to be my chainmail shortcut. Um, I don't want to call it a hack because that makes it sound like I don't know what I'm doing, but you get it done. I feel like a shortcut is knowing how it works and then kind of de-evolving it into its components. But anyway. It would, yeah, but man, I don't want TikTok. Maybe Instagram Reels, for sure. Like, that'd be a good idea. Um, so yeah, I, I just want them to be more accessible for people than just here on Twitch. Um, and maybe I'll eventually move away from Twitch. I don't know. I know Gabe has kind of officially moved off of Twitch and is starting his YouTube thing. Um, he's doing more, like, sketchbook tours and... What was the other thing you were going to do? Sketchbook tours and... Like, your thoughts on art? The art world, I guess? Drawing. Drawing, talking about drawing <laughs> that's uh, yeah it's good just like speed paint but not thank you poppy god you are so positive i love it i love it so much instagram reels are uh instagram's like answer to tiktok like they want to get in on that too which tiktok is just vine you know so anyway yeah, what Cactus said. And Snapchat. Yeah, God. All the things. All the things. Um. Oh, man. You're not going to see. I guess if I put them over here. Maybe his tail's off over here. Uh, what? More pumpkins. <laughs> Bruni, come on. Sorry, my dog's being gross. She's finished eating. I don't even know, Serenity. I really, I don't know why I don't know, but I do not know. 
Yeah, isn't that silly? Like, um, for our dogs, for their Instagram, I have I've done a couple IGD, IGTV things. I don't know how those work either. Like, I put it up, but you can't do the same things with those that you can do on regular videos, like adding a filter or anything. Probably because they're so long, but... I don't know, man. Like, I already feel out of the tech loop on some stuff, and that's really weird for me, because usually I'm up to date on it. Which one was that, Bobby? Them on the bed. I can't remember. I can't remember. Okay, so if that's a squirrel, maybe it'd be cute if this was... Uh, oh man, I love voles. I don't want to make a vole. Oh, maybe a mouse. I'll go mouse. Safe zone. Maybe a baby mouse? Yeah, 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 the outside bed. Yeah, she, she was being pretty funny for that one. I got really lucky with that video. Mm -mm. They just ate and now they're spunky. I don't want to say this squirrel is a swindler, but if I had to guess, he would be. He would 100% be a swindler. Squirrels are jerks. They're just jerks. I'm trying to figure out what I want in this corner. I think just a little, like a lantern would be cute. That might be too much. I love the noises my bulldog makes, but they do not bode well for streaming, let me tell you. Some people like the sound of goblins. Which I'm down with that, but <laughs> sometimes uh, it's too much. Bruni, you were sleeping. What happened? Hey, hey, hey. Little goblin. Totally. She's such a little goblin. Uh, I don't want him looking here either. Sorry, I did not even do a thumbnail of this, and I probably should. But at least you're seeing my thought process, right? That's, that's worth something. Yeah, your birds. Yeah. Oh god, I don't know how you do it. 
Awesome. Yeah, Pylon, let me know how that goes. And if you find something that really sounds good, sit on it a couple days, do some research, and, you know, also look up to make sure that A, it's not taken, but B, it's not something really messed up, like, I don't know, a porn site or something. Because you don't want people trying to find your art and then just stumble into porn or something weird or fetish site. I don't know. Finding out via research is, you know, it's better than finding out a different way. <laughs> Have a good rest of your weekend, though, Pylon. Bruni, no, no crying on the stream. I love your whining, but not during a stream, honey. It's really funny, too. She seems to know when we're streaming and purposely cries more during the stream. I don't understand why. I don't know how she knows. I... no idea. No idea. Maybe it's our tone of voice. Uh, she did it when we were talking to a friend in a hangout last week, too. So it's almost like she just doesn't like hearing us not talking to each other and just talking to nothing. I don't know. It's really weird. But then you heard the friend, too. I don't know. Maybe it's just a attention thing. But yeah, she's in cry mode. Bruni, no. Be quiet. It's okay. Okay. Go get your stick. Maybe show her that one stick again. The one over there. This one. No. 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 Yep. Try to take her over to the bed with it, or else it'll be loud. Like they're interrupting you, Serenity. Neroni, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Oh, Serenity, you're up to 30 subs. That's crazy. That too, Thev. That's a positive way of looking at it. Hi. How's your Saturday, Thev? Okay, Thev.
she's winding down. Now you're gonna hear snores. Unless she gets mad again, which also sounds like a possibility. What do you mean, Cactus? You mean you're given a prompt, or you're trying to think of a prompt? Like you're given a prompt and you're confused, or you gotta think of prompts to do? Well, let's see. And basic is the first first stop. So when you start brainstorming things, the basic things are going to come forward first, right? So um, I remember way back, I want to even say middle school, middle school or high school, when they explained how to brainstorm correctly. I don't know why this stuck with me, but it's important to write down your brainstorm ideas even if you're like typing them because you're gonna start with the really basic things and once those are down then your brain is gonna start digging more it's like skimming the top off of something you're getting rid of the fluff to get to the substance right um, so you want to kind of look at the prompt and then expand if there's multiple words to it like if it was sky taxi right um, those are two very image fueled things right so you can think of anything that has to do with the sky, whether it's things that, you know, birds, planes, clouds, weather, stuff like that. Anything to have to do with that. You can start researching all that and see if anything kind of feels good. And then taxi, look at other cultures, taxis, um, things like that, like other vehicles, uh, ways people get around, like the idea of what a taxi is. Um, you know, it's just transport that somebody is basically chauffeuring you somewhere, right? So you can extrapolate it to even be kind of a, a bare bones idea of what a taxi is, right? And it'll, it'll still hit home. So if you can do that with whatever the prompt is, that's a good start. Um, however, if it gets really existential, I guess it could be hard. Like if it's a really broad term, that can be hard, but then you can also, I guess, do whatever you want with it, and that in itself is, you know, kind of, the freedom's nice, but it is nicer sometimes to have guidelines. So I guess if you want me to help you specifically with it, you can tell me what it is, and I can help you brainstorm. Um, typically, if I get kind of, you know, stopped by something, I will go and I'll bounce things off Gabe. Um, because really just a back and forth of talking, not even so much as just idea generation, but just talking through your thoughts with someone can kind of help. As silly as it may sound, it, it does help. Because then they may say something random, you know, like they're almost like a random idea generator. They'll give you, you know, words that you wouldn't normally use or they'll say something in a way you wouldn't normally say it and because of that that can kind of cue things in you to be like oh okay that's a good idea because I could do this with that and it'll lead you down more of a you know an idea road I guess yeah right Bobby like it's the only thing that works sometimes I know the past month I've been kind of drained on ideas so I've gone to Gabe a little bit more than usual but I'm like, okay, I have these base ideas. I want to use them. Can we think of a way to kind of, you know, merge them and what have you? And I don't know. It helps. There you go. And if that doesn't work too, 
come hit me up. I can help you brainstorm. It's so fun for me. Like, that's one of my favorite things to do is to just think of concepts and ideas of stuff. Honestly. I always get a lot of joy from it. In case of emergency, consult your pet. <laughs> Especially if they scream at you normally, like Serenity's birds. Maybe they've got some ideas. I mean, those aha moments you kind of see in movies do happen, as stupid as it is. Like, maybe you're trying to brainstorm something, someone interrupts you, and you get mad at them, and you say something to them, and then that thing ends up being the thing that you needed to think of or something like you know stupid shit happens like that all the time randy's my only conversation partner well serenity i'm here for you too okay if you ever need a go-to i can help too Where's your stick, honey? Go get your stick. Go get your stick. Hand in focus, girl. I'll try to not do that. I don't know why it's still... I don't know why it's still doing that. I think it's only when, that's weird. Yeah, I don't even know when it is now. Bruni, no. Hold on guys, I gotta sharpen this other pencil I might use later. Okay, sorry. I saw a really dull thing in a moment where she was crying, and I figured, hey, I can use this. <laughs> so you don't have to hear the whining, and I can just, uh, you know. Oh, I didn't know you were a twin cactus. That's crazy. What's that like? Do you like it or hate it? I know some people hate it, and some people like it. Also, if you ever want a warm-up, but you don't want to just draw shapes, um, just drawing uh, fruit or anything that is technically a shape, but it's also a thing. So, like, me doing pumpkins and gourds right now feels pretty good, just because they're so simple that doing them, it feels like I'm doing more because they're an actual thing, but I'm also doing less because they're just primitives. So it's kind of nice. It is! Yeah, Jer. It's a squirrel pumpkin merchant. And some some little mice are buying some stuff from him. Oh, that's really cool, Cactus. That's good. That's better than one of you being the evil one. Or is one of you the evil one? Mm -hmm. I guess it could be on wheels. I haven't drawn a cart on wheels yet. That could be cute. Sorry about my messy pencil lines. Believe me, they will go away. I feel like if I did... 
It would make sense to do them in the front. Because then you could get up and push it. Like I said, it probably wouldn't be this messy if I uh, had done a thumbnail first. I did not, though. I actually don't like the wheels. Not this time. It's going to be too forced. I didn't plan for it. I should have planned more. Because if I planned for it, I would have moved this pumpkin to the right more. Aww. Radical Ninja. You're so sweet. You and your puns. Always quick with the puns. I am gonna just call you ninja though, Greg, because saying radical ninja's a bit long. And to me, you're the only ninja. This is a little bit screwy too. <laughs> Probably not. Did she have to? Yeah. That makes sense. I almost want something to be up here. Maybe just a little bird. Oh, it wouldn't be a bird, though. It'd have to be a... A ladybug. Gotta think of uh, my scale here. I know ladybugs don't have antenna, but I always add antenna on ladybugs, and I don't know why. Greg says hi, Gabe. Hello. Uh, our pups are doing good. They're doing okay. Um. Our bulldog tends to be a little attention starved all the time, though, so if she starts whining, that's why. She doesn't like that I'm talking to you instead of her. <laughs> oh, that's cute, Cactus. I'm glad you have someone like that. That's lovely. I know, right? Oh my god, Poppy, you know exactly what I'm talking about. 24-7 isn't enough. She is literally with us all the time. We actually have never left them more than an hour alone. Uh, and Bruni, since she's been ours since she was a puppy, she has a little bit of separation anxiety. Just a little bit. <laughs> Uh, we've been doing better though, like, um, we've been stretching the time, so we're up to an hour being away from her, but, um, it's, it's rough. <laughs> she's good though, like, she's really potty trained well, better than our rescues. If we leave, our rescues kind of have some troubles. One is a senior too, so that, that doesn't, you know, that's hard too. They usually do, yeah, but lol events. Like, we go anywhere anyway. Um, I mean, if we go out, it's either to the grocery store, which we don't bring them for that, or we're going out specifically for them. Um, we do that more than we do anything for ourselves. <laughs> we take them out to places. Yeah, I assume a lot of pets now are getting spoiled with having their owners home all the time. 
Oh no, ninja. Well, you're almost done, right? And no, I don't have a cold. Allergies here are really bad. Like, I have an allergy tracker on my phone and everything's like up to five. It's stupid. It, it's really bad. So I'm not sick, but I have allergies real bad. Oh, Dragon Con. No, so since we got the dogs, um, and basically before we got them, Gabe and I made a pact that someone would always be home with the dogs. Especially since we have a bulldog and Poppy. You know how that is. Um, I don't really trust many other people with her because they are so high maintenance and she has so many intricacies to taking care of her. So one of us is always home. We used to do conventions together and it was really fun. We got to travel together a lot and all that, but um, you know, now it's almost like, I don't know, we get a, a break from each other, I guess, sometimes, because we're together 24 seven too. Uh, seeing as he and I do the same thing, basically. Friends adopted an Akita. Oh yeah. The dog ate the couch? No! Poor Akita. They're beautiful dogs, though. Everything is alive in Florida. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, though, Poppy. I Wade! Wade. Our buddy Wade. Wade! So, yeah. I've got the allergies. And it's not good. It's doing all right right now, but oh my god. I was up for like three hours yesterday in the morning, like really early, because my nose, it felt like I had a legit cold, and I am not happy about that at all. I guess I sound a little raspy. Maybe that's the extent of it currently, but ugh. Bruni, no, it's okay. Shh. No, no. Go get your, your phone or your horn or your stick. Anything. Where's your rooster? Go get it. Or your idea. Remember your idea? Go get that. Or your hex. Go. Go get it. You don't need mama right now. Mama's busy. And this is why Gabe's typically in the other room, because Bruni cannot handle it. Right, Poppy? So I, I let her every once in a while go into her toy bin, and she'll pull out something she wants, but uh, she's so picky. It's like you have to go through every toy before they're like, oh, all right, this one's okay for now. Ninja, I bet it's going to be better than it has been, though. I mean, the other job seems to have been just dragging you. Exactly, Thev. You got it. <laughs> just like that. Stop it. You're okay. I guess these are technically really small pumpkins, too. <laughs> oh. There is a dog down the street that barks at everything, and it always, like, cues off our dogs, and I want to just yell at it 
I'm so mad sometimes that it just gets my dogs worked up. And sometimes I feel like, uh, like our dog has some sort of like puppy Tourette's or something. Because he'll, he'll bark at something and then he'll stop. And then he'll keep boofting. Like it's like a boofed, boofed. And I don't, I don't know why. He just keeps doing it. His arm is not agreeing with me right now. And now she fell asleep. <laughs> this is having a bulldog. <laughs> cry, 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 eat, eat, bathroom, sleep, snore. Yeah, they do hoard. It's true. Hope you don't mind bulldog snores. <laughs> I already spent longer on this than I wanted to. I wanted this to be kind of a quick one, but of course. Things don't always go that way. Oh my god. <laughs> How loud is that for you guys? Is that really loud? Of course you think so. <laughs> oh my god, Poppy, that's so cute. That's great though, Ninja. That's good. That's very good. <laughs> he doesn't like children. I didn't know you had a pig in knees. Oh my god. Can you please send me a picture of that dog? I think they look so funny. Like, I love probably how they look more than I like how a pug looks. They are just hilarious. And I love their faces. Oh, they're so... They always look surly, too. Weird Moobot was right on cue with that Discord comment. <laughs> A Shizunut. <laughs> Dang, that was pretty good though, Greg. You gotta write a book. I bet you have just a crazy amount of original puns. I might have to redraw the boundaries on this one. I dig it for the moment though. But I feel like I kind of want to do the portraits right now? Here, you guys make the call. Do you want me to ink the rest of this and do the tones on it and kind of finish it up? Or do you want me to switch over to doing uh, the little animal busts with the, uh, the glow-in-the-dark skeleton painted over? Which one? Say either cart or skeleton.
Oh, thank you, Poppy. I'm so glad you love it. Bruni, you gotta go tonight. It's time for tonight. Okay. You take care, though. Your husband going on? He gonna stream? Squelator. <laughs> you want the skeleton? Skeleton. Digging the cart. So we got three for skeleton, one for cart. Anybody else want to chime in before I call it? Oh, Ninja, you're too good. Too good. All right, Poppy. Well, thank you for coming in. I'm glad you got to the start of it and you got to see my little animation. I love having you on stream. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I don't think Cactus appreciates them. Tell you what, let's do at least one of the portraits, and then if I feel like coming back to this, we can, and I'll finish it, or we'll do another one depending on how you guys feel about it. So, I wanted to make it an ATC so it can be purchasable in case somebody wants it. Now I gotta think of an animal. Start throwing out some animals. Because not only am I going to look up a reference for the animal, but I'm going to look up a reference for their skull. Ah, damn auto thingy. Yes, I haven't forgotten that you're here. Believe me, I know you're here, Bernie. She really just sounds like someone who's thoroughly annoyed, like, and is just over it. Um, common animal or crazy one? Honestly, just start throwing them out. I'll pick one that kind of, I don't know, gives me a goosebump or something. I don't think a squid has a skeleton, though. <laughs> How about this? Preferably uh, vertebrates. <laughs> That'll be my one, uh, I guess, caveat. <laughs> oh, it's National Rabbit Day, huh? International Rabbit Day. Let me look up a rabbit skull. What do you want? You want to come up real quick and get a kiss? Come here. Come up. You're going to cry at me and then not come up? Come on. Come here. Come here. Up. Up. There we go. Hi. You want to give me a kiss? You don't want to give me a kiss? You want to see what I'm doing? They can't see you, though. There she is. She's just whining at me. What is that, Moo? What is that? Do you know what that is? What is it? She's going to start barking at it. So I'm not going <laughs> to... <sighs> Let me look up a rabbit skull. See how that looks. Oh, I could maybe swing that. Yeah, actually a rabbit would be cool. I'm going to totally simplify it though. Just for like, you know, sake of coolness or whatever. <laughs> You know, you don't have to cry. <laughs> That's an option. Oh, I love that their teeth are part of their skull. That's cool. That's cool. Gabe, can you believe how much she's doing this? <laughs> I cannot believe it. Okay. We'll do a rabbit. Hair today, gone tomorrow. You think you're due to have some seafood. I'd say so, especially if you're uh, 
They've thrown out all these sea things. Um, okay. Now this idea could completely backfire, by the way. Because um, I haven't actually tried to do something that wasn't already on the drawing. So we'll see how that goes. It's Papa! I think I want him sipping tea. I think that'd be good. Oh man, I'm trying to fight the whole white rabbit trope in my head, but it's kind of difficult. So I'm going to try to do it at the angle that the skull reference is so I can kind of figure it out on the fly, I guess. So I know it's kind of a three-quarter view, so we can work with that. And I don't want to make him too cutesy, especially since I'm planning to, you know, throw on a skull. Let's give him a monocle. Or maybe some glasses. Let's just go with glasses. And then cheek. Kind of want some cheek spillage here. He's kind of a plump boy. Mm. Actually, maybe a little espresso cup would be cuter. I don't know. I, did, I had espresso earlier, so I'm kind of... Woo, espresso! I think he would pinch it. I think it'd be like a pinch. And then maybe holding a saucer. She back over by me. Oh. Kind of like these colors that squeeze in. I don't want to say like your face. Whoa! Can you just take her to the other room? I don't want her doing that bark. I've been hoping she didn't do that bark this whole time, but the minute she does it, it's like strike three. Thank you, Cactus. I'm glad you love it. So if anybody internationally, like Cactus, if you wanted this too, you could grab it. Um, these I ship internationally for free. Because I can really just put them in a letter envelope and it's like a dollar. To ship internationally, which is nice. But there's still time for me to botch it. <laughs> Gotta wait until uh, we see how the glow in the dark phase goes. I want him to kind of be rotund, but like not like fat, fat, but kind of fat. I want to do a couple oversized elements, I think. I think like a button on the coat would be cute. A little oversized. I'm trying to skirt a very fine line of uh, realistic and not. So 
So the other thing is I want to put the, uh, the teeth coming out. And then when I put in the skull, it's got to match up. So I'm kind of thinking of that while I'm also doing this. I don't know how I thought of the skull idea either, honestly. I know I was doing an ATC for one of my patrons, and it was like this. And um, I was like, man, I kind of just want to do something kind of easy, like the, the animal portraits, but I want to do something different with them. And then I thought of the glow-in-the-dark idea, since last week I was doing glow-in-the-dark. So... It is making you think of Alice's rabbit. I feel like if you've got a rabbit that's either got some sort of eyewear and a teacup or something, you're just asking for it. So, the Alice in Wonderland? Yeah. I think so. Even if it's not, I mean, I'm just drawing a sophisticated tea drinking rabbit. It's the generic version, you know? It's the coat. Yeah, it's that high collar thing. Can't get away from it. It's the era, too. Because, I mean, if I wasn't doing, like, a Victorian era, and it was just, like, you know, a rabbit in a tux, it wouldn't be the same thing. It's because it's the era. So I'm kind of damned if I do, damned if I don't. Just one button's fine. Hi, Foxy. How you doing? I think um, I'll also probably do some steam coming up from it that I'll add the uh, glow in the dark to as well. I want it to not exactly look like tea, you know, to be a little bit different. Alice made it trendy. There you go. <laughs> it's Alice's fault. Oh, he looks worried. There we go. All right. I kind of like my rabbits to have some hair, lol, <laughs> hairstyle to them. There's a pun in there, Greg. Hairstyle. Oh, I'll draw the pinky up. Pinky's up! nailed it. <laughs> or maybe it should be out the other way. That's pretty straight, isn't it? Yeah, it would be like that. No, no, it looks broken. I don't want it to look broken. I think that looks right. How's that look? Does that work? 10 hour shift, Jesus. Well, welcome home. I'm glad you're you're off work now and you can have some time for you. Our cats, what's up? Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Don't show no paw, honey. Hey, no paw. Chancho, no paw. Our dog has a nervous habit of like chewing on his nails and then putting his paw. So um, I figured out a few ways to get him to stop. One of which is reminding him no paw. No paw. He's pretty good about it. He's like, oh yeah, I shouldn't do that. Sorry, Mom. A loud truck. Oh no. 
Oh, thank you, Arcads. Well, earlier in the stream, sorry about this autofocus. Usually it's not that bad. Um, but yeah, uh, so like last week, I wonder if I can, I had done this last week. It's just a goat, but it's got some glow-in-the-dark elements to it. I don't know if you can see some of that. Um, and then, I don't know if I have anything kind of finished around me, unfortunately. Well, I guess kind of. We also worked on this last week. I'm not totally done with it. Um, and then, I've got this sitting near me. This is a, a bread loaf and a bottle. Also not done, really. Um, all my done stuff is, like, sold and out, out the door. Anyway, so we started this, and then I switched over to doing this, and I'm gonna paint a skeleton over it once I get it fully colored, which should be short, shortly. But on my stream, I really like to uh, start and finish things during the stream so that people don't have to see, like, a minuscule moment of a painting's life. You know, you get to see the full breadth of it, so it feels a lot more, I guess, worthwhile. You know, it's a good use of time sort of thing. Oh, we gotta have a tail. Oh my goodness. There we go. There's the thing. So many foxes. That could be cute. Hmm. The moth might be distracting, though. I guess I could, uh... Too bad I didn't put a cape on. If I had to put a cape on it like it was gonna go out, that could have been cool. Then I could have made the ethereal flip version, like, coming off of it, like a, like a specter. I guess I could do... You know what, maybe I could have the smoke just come back. What if the smoke comes back? Nah, that looks forced. Yeah. Dang. It was a good idea though, Cavendish. I liked it. Alright. Let's ink it. Nah. <laughs> I'm I'm not that careful with my art. Um a lot of the time I'll either <clears throat> do it with a pencil or an erasable colored pencil, I'll just go for it. I have learned so much more from not being careful with art um, than being careful with art. So I'm kind of the, the tough love personality, I guess you could say. Like if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, pass it along. Is anybody else's pets like sleeping right next to their feet and you don't realize it until you move your foot and then you like push them or something accidentally? One of my dogs is just constantly at my feet and I feel bad because I'm always kind of kicking him but it's it's not on purpose obviously but ugh. yeah there's more paper. Um, typically though, I'll, I'll do like a little thumbnail, you know, before I, I do a final piece, but a lot of the time lately, I just, I don't know, since I draw all day, every day for like past five years, um, I've gotten to this point where I just kind of go. And, um, I feel like, you know, when you've done that for so long, you can deal with almost any accident that may occur, you know, because you've figured out so many ways to deal with it. Um, and I think that's, there's an art to dealing with mistakes, you know. Hi, Isabel. How are you? Oh, 
Oh, thank you. Love's feet? Oh, Clark. Oh, tell me about Clark Cavendish. I must know. What are Clark's quirks? I love the name Clark. It's so cute. Twenty-three pounds. Oh, I'm doing okay. I've got mad allergies right now, so if I sound either really raspy or um, if I sound sick, I'm not sick. I just got allergies, like a mother, like it's bad. Um, I usually have like a mold spore and ragweed reaction, and it's just both of them are crazy high lately. He hops my slippers. Oh, what a gross kitty. <laughs> Who am I angry at? Me? Or your cat? Oh man, who wouldn't try to steal ice cream? Let's be honest. I only sleep on top of you. Oh. Rooney, go! <laughs> I love that though, that when cats like ride on shoulders and stuff, I think that's so cute. Pension. Oh no. Oh, that's so cute. It must be crappy when he's playing a game, but too adorable to be mad, right? I am already in the spooky, like, mindset. I think Halloween's cool. I like it. I'm not crazy crazy about it, but I do enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy the season way more though. Like, I just love fall. But then I feel like everybody loves fall. Like, I don't know anybody who doesn't love fall. And the people I know who you'd think are summer people, actually love fall. So it's like I don't know anybody who hates fall. Oh, You guys, I love these stories. They're so cute. Hi, JML! You're not moving for a good 10 minutes, if not longer, right? It's true, man. It's true. So I would consider this comfort zone art for me. I'm doing something that I kind of find easy, that's just kind of fun for the moment. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do the 
the skeleton on top of it. And we'll see how that goes. So I feel like when you're trying something new, like how I'm trying the skeleton over this, uh, that it's good to work with something that you're kind of comfortable with, at least for most of it, if that makes sense. So the fact that the content is something I'm very familiar with and I can kind of just, you know, bang out, um, is helpful because then I can get that done and I'm not wasting too much time. It's almost like um, when you're doing a science experiment and you've got the control, you know, and you've got um, only one thing, the control that you're changing and everything else remains the same, then you can clearly gauge how the experiment went. If you're changing too many factors, you're not going to know exactly what's um, the reason for the change, right? Like if I was doing something totally new that I've never done before and then trying this other thing that's totally new I've never done before and it ends up not working, I won't know if it's because of the content that was new or the medium trying on it that was what screwed it up, you know? So I feel like it's a good practice to at least, you know, be doing the things that you're a little bit used to. If that makes sense. I want this to actually to be thick, thicker. Like a lot thicker. Yeah, more like that. You have a drawing and your eyes just blur. My eyes just blurred. hate that because sometimes that actually screws up what I'm doing, which it did. But that's okay, I can deal with it. Oh, you're welcome, Asling. I'm glad uh, that you wanted them, honestly. Hi, Tad. How are you doing? You a reader, Asling? What's everybody's favorite book here? Give me your favorite book of all time that you could read and read and read and read and never get tired of it. I am a curious. So we're sticking with really safe things to draw today just because there's this and then we penciled this out earlier in the stream, which I might get back to after this, but I had an idea with this that I wanted to try. So after I get it colored, you'll, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, Clark, you fatty. Oh, the Miss of Avalon. I've heard that's really good. What's that about, Sev?
song almost sounded like Stairway to Heaven for a minute. I wonder if that was on purpose. You know, admittedly, I'm the same. I don't really read. I used to read a ton when I was a kid. Um, and I really wish I could still read now. But I, I honestly, I know it sounds so bad, but I do not have time to read. Um, I mean, I read stuff online. I read a lot of news and nonfiction lately. But it's like a lot of the time I'm just, I guess, writing. Oh no, I blurred his eye. I can fix that. I should have waited a little longer. I'll wait a bit longer to go back to it. Don't worry, I can fix it. <sighs> Hi, John Miller! Cloverfield. <laughs> I actually saw that movie on my birthday one year. This is what you get for not waiting until your ink's dry. But don't worry about it. In a very small nutshell. Oh, I kind of like that. I like kids that save the world. I think that's cool. Alright. I'm going to quickly do this, uh, this steam or smoke or what have you. And then we'll come back to fixing what I didn't wait long enough to see dry. <laughs> I know I sound raspy. I'm not sick. I've just got allergies. Do a number on me, man. Some freaking allergies. Oh my god, I have done that so many times, Cavendish. It's like, don't put the icing on when it's hot, it'll melt. I'm like, ah, it's cool enough. No. No. Ashley, no. You idiot. No. Mm -hmm. Let me fix it. Another point, too. Alright, so I gotta think about tones here. Ten bucks and two consecutive series. Wow. The most I've ever read, I think, in a series was, um, <laughs> this sounds so dumb, but when I was like 15, I was reading uh, R.A. Salvatore's books, the Ice and Whale, Ice Windale series, like the trilogy there, and then like Forgotten Realms books a lot of the time. Uh, anything with Driss Stewarden was like my, my jam back then. Oh, I feel you, Thev. I am with you on that. I keep screwing stuff up, man. Then again, it's another side effect of streaming. You get a little absent-minded, so you forget, you know, when you put something down, and you might just screw it up. That's why I don't usually work on client work during streams, because I know, I know I will screw it up somehow. Um... Because, you know, you get to talking about stuff, you want to be able to do something that's not terribly difficult, you know? So a lot of the time I'll do, you know, just sketches or, you know, maybe a part of a commission that I know, like the back of my hand, that I, I don't have to worry too much about that I'll screw up. Um, but yeah, that's why I don't do a lot of serious work on my streams, because I will, I guarantee you I will screw it up somehow. Especially if I'm just talking about things to people. If I'm in a, like, a conversation, I just can't think, you know? I think I want him to... And the inside of his ears will be kind of white. 
thinking of making his teacup glow though. What do you guys think of that? Because it's not too late. I think I might do that. Yeah, so I'll have the hidden design, obviously, the skeleton, but then, um, yeah, having the cup glow might be a nice little, hey, there's more than meets the eye to this piece, blah, 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 you know. So in that case, I'm going to implement some lighting on this as if there was, you know, a glow coming from the cup. Which is nice I decided this now and not way too late. You would be able to retrofit it, but it wouldn't be as good. Um, let's see. You love the Forgotten Realms books? I did too. And I liked, uh, I played back in the day, I was playing uh, Baldur's Gate. I played Baldur's Gate a lot, one and two. Um, and that was nice. That game was so great back in the day. Okay, so knowing that there's glow coming from the cup, I'll probably have it coming out of there. Let's do this. We're almost there. Let's just go super dark for the background. Yeah. I've been into this lately. Just doing super dark backgrounds. Making the foreground element pop. God, my eyes keep crossing. You guys ever have that problem? Like your eyes just keep crossing or blurring? It'll help the effect too if it's really dark. Why? What's wrong with Boulder's Gate? Uh, stolen from you? Oh no! You know, I remember hearing something about it being re-released. Or something like that. Like, I feel like it was re-released recently. Somehow. I forget on what. Maybe it was Switch? Of course I loved Minsk and Boo. can do some fun effects and then we're getting closer to doing the skeleton piece which like I said I haven't done that before so we'll try it and see how it goes um, it could completely backfire and ruin my entire piece but we're gonna do it anyway because that's how we want to live <laughs> Oh, weird. That's so strange. I wonder why they did that. I'm 
go back over this real quick. Some of the marker got into it. I want to make it more jaggy too. Remember this is kind of the fun of doing smoke and stuff is the, the organic nature of it so if you kind of want it to have that look you're gonna have to do some things organically which can be scary. Really, Tad? Really? What kind of a fox piece? Lots of fox lovers in this chat today, huh? The last fox commission I did was a fox in what I think was called Maximilian armor. It was funny enough for a, a Twitch buddy on here who I met on Twitch and they wanted a uh, fox in very specific armor which I thought was really interesting but I'm doing a bunny today because you guys let me know it was International Rabbit Day and I gotta celebrate the bunnies Plus, it's been a while since I drew a bunny, so why not? I know bunnies and rabbits are different. Sorry if somebody's getting their panties in a bundle about it. I always forget which is which. Steampunk, huh? I haven't done steampunk in a while either. Whatever you would like, Tad. I am open to it. Things are a little bit crazy currently with stuff, but God, that does not look at all like... That's more what it looks like. I don't know why my camera is just blowing the crap out of it. Sorry, y'all. Make it more of a mad scientist bunny now, huh? Is that where we're going with this? Seems like it. Oh yeah, let's drip this. Yeah, let's get crazy now. Heck yeah, I'm into this. This tea is absolutely spiked. With something we don't know. Shit, I'm all into this now. Well, this is gonna make way more sense than once I get the skeleton in. Screw the Alice in Wonderland vibes, let's kick this up a notch. Yes, Jackrabbit and Mr. Hare, I love that. Do you mind if I actually call it that? That would be really cool. Oh, Tad said it too. Damn, you guys are on point with that. Oh. So good. <laughs> Splitting hairs. Oh, Thev, that's so good. Oh, maybe I should call it that too. Splitting hairs. <laughs> you guys, there's a whole story here. I hope you know that. Um, 
like the whole idea of splitting hairs, a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde thing. Oh, that's so good. I could probably do that, Cactus. Crack one of the lenses. What do you guys think? Should I click crack one of the lenses in his bifocals? And I use... Pastels are really nice for ghostly things too. Not currently. I just do my own books. Welcome, girl. This is actually purchasable, so if anybody wants to uh, buy it from me, you're welcome to. Most of the things I do on my Twitch stream during my stream are like you can buy them. Because a lot of the time I want to make things that I can finish on stream that are fun to watch. So if anybody's interested in this Dr. Jackrabbit Mr. Hare thing, I dig it. I like that you guys can see how... Uh, like drawings just kind of evolve sometimes like the fact it was just a rabbit that I was gonna do a skeleton for in you know grayscale or in glow in the dark sorry I really want to change okay oh, I have a feeling if I do this it's going to crash so I really don't want to maybe I can lower the Doesn't really help, does it? It's still kind of blown out. Oh, in the glow in the dark? Yeah, I can definitely do that. That's a good idea. Oh, for this one, I would say it'll probably be 45. Because it's only it's this big. So if you're interested, it's a technically it's a trading card size, so like Magic the Gathering, uh, Pokemon, any sort of trading card game. Um, that's a little bit better. It's not as warm as the picture shows, but you know. The picture, yeah. <laughs> God. It's one of those days for me, I guess. So if anybody wants to claim it, you can say you want it, and then um, I'll have you PayPal me, and then it's yours, and I will send it to you the next chance I get. And that includes international people. You don't have to pay for shipping for them. Isn't that nice? Blend that bitch. Whovian, cute. Doctor Who always looked pretty cute. Like a cute show to get into. Fortunately, I missed that train. I tried to get into it recently, and um, I think if you hadn't been introduced to it early on, it's kind of a hard, hard one to retrofit into. You know what I mean? Like it's really cute, though. I get why people like it totally.
Is it this one? <laughs> I know it's backwards, but bear with me. Is it this one? <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's got a lot of um, really nice hatching uh, stuff in it. Um, honestly, there are a couple in here that remind me of Dore, and I love Gustave Dore. Um, and there's some stuff in here that kind of goes over those type of techniques. Um, but yeah, if, if you want to see some of it, uh, like it breaks down some of the lines here. It's a pretty good book. I'm surprised I recognized the name right away, but it, there is a lot of prose. I mean, a good amount, but yeah, it's, it's pretty good for that kind of stuff, especially like where to omit line, how to hint at line, like, I don't know. It's a good one to have, for sure. I don't even know when I got this, honestly. Maybe if I go in too quick, it doesn't like that, and it blows it out. It is! It totally is a good reference book. Um, I also have an Arthur Rockham book. Rockham? Rockham? Um, Rockham, Sockham, Arthur Rockham. And uh, he... It's got a lot of his ink works in it, too, and that that's a pretty good book. Oh, do it, Tad. Please post what you do to what you figure out, because I bet that'll suit your style really well. You have such a good style. Um, actually, you all should follow Tad. I highly recommend Tad. <laughs> Tad, could you put in your Instagram? I would really like to pimp your work. You're a top-notch fella. You're too kind. Whatever. <laughs> just post the damn link. I'm just kidding. But yeah, post the link. I like uh, helping out good people. Good people are good. Alright. I think we are almost to the glow in the dark phase. Which kind of sucks, and I'm going to be honest with you, the glow-in-the-dark phase is kind of hard to have on camera. Um, I don't want anyone to have any seizures or anything, but if it is too hard to look at while I'm doing it, I'm sorry. I know it's kind of, it's going to be a little bit nutty. So like I said, I apologize in advance. Just don't stare at it if it hurts, okay? You guys go check out Tad's stuff. Tad is an art pimp. Pimp! Um. Alright. Man, I hate how this blows it out. Here. This is closer to what it looks like. Just off. Alright, let's try glow in the dark. Glow in the dark, am I right? Just kidding, I don't know. Oh, 
Muffins! How you doing, Muffins? Yay! You guys, it's Muffins. They're here. It has been a while, Muffins. I'm going to use this post-it note as a paint palette. I drew on this last week. I was explaining dots. And dots. Right? Isn't Tad great at expression? Oh my god. He has a very good style. Alright, so before I do this, I'm going to look again at the rabbit skull. And I could screw this up. I definitely easily could. But we'll see how it goes. Let me make sure it's not too... So can you see... This is how it glows. Okay. We're gonna glow for it. <laughs> Just kidding. Shut up, Ashley. Shut up. Alright. So there's nose. Okay. Gonna go for it. Gonna go for it. I think the trick will be not to get it too too thick. Because I think if it's too thick, it won't look good when it's not and glow in the dark. Like I said, this could ruin the entire piece, but it's okay. It is okay. Experimenting is important, you guys. Gotta experiment. Gotta make mistakes, y'all. There's that crack that you guys asked for. You see it okay? Kinda. <laughs> with art, damn it, with art. God, Dennis, you always take my, my words out of context. I always have to explain things to your mom. Granted, we've gotten very close, but all these problems, you really gotta fight for yourself sometimes, bro. I might have to go over this again with like pen and ink when I'm done with this because it might be um, doing some stuff to the line work but oh hi spongy how you doing mistakes are how we learn it's true tell everybody the best kept secret. How do you get better at something? You screw it up a lot. You want to kick it up a notch? Do it on uh, on stream so people can see you do it. <laughs> and screw up that way. That's always good. Because then it's recorded. And what better than to record your screw ups, am I right? Duh.
God, I wish you guys could see this green glow, but it's not coming up. I might be able to show you in a second uh, on the other camera. So it looks pretty cool. It's just I bet the camera won't um, capture it appropriately. Well, it seems to not affect it too badly. Wonder if uh, I can see it a little bit better. That rim light here. Wonder if I can blur the light a bit more. No, not really. Um, it's less reactive, I think, because A, the, the little thing I'm using, the light, might be too, um, here, I want you to see what I'm seeing. You're not seeing what I'm seeing. Ugh, regular, and then, see, I gotta figure out how to make it, like, more obvious on the camera down where I'm painting. It looks so much better in person! Carson. But um, what is nice is you can kind of dial the coat. So I think I'm going to actually outline with this thicker where the eye socket is and the skull outline. And the teeth. It's as far as a rabbit's real skull goes. Well, that helps a bit. See, it is a bit thick now. really can't see it too badly. I think once it dries, it'll dry a lot more clear. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm under yellow lights. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I can't turn it off exactly. Even if I turn it to blue light. Honestly, the blue light might help. I didn't think it'd be that minuscule of a change. It's not that bad, though. It's also about pulling back on it, but this camera has um, some filters on it, digital filters, where this one doesn't have as many. So that's probably another part of it. It's There's tons of factors. It's stupid. This part looked pretty cool. So that's kind of nice. I just wish there was a way for me to... Maybe if I turn off this light, it's gonna screw up my face cam, but... Still not as good as the other camera. Well, that's just weird. I always have problems with the lighting in this area. I'm in a corner. I'm using like four different lights just so I can see my paper and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, digital filters are tough.
They're hard to deal with. <laughs> Tad, are you streaming tonight? I kind of like the destructive feeling, like I'm going over my painting or my drawing and potentially destroying it, but I'm not really, but I kind of am. You know what I mean? There's something exciting about that. And these bones? Totally made up. I am not using a reference for these right now. I've got the reference in my head from what I've seen before. What I know from anatomy class. No, it's not even rabbit anatomy, let's be honest. Oh, bye, Cactus. Thanks for coming. Oh, thank you for being my art buddy, Spongy. I'm so glad. Oh, you guys streamed earlier today. Okay. That's so sweet of you. Thank you, Spongy. I like hearing that. Dylan Griffin, what's up? Welcome. Thank you for the follow. No, even though this boy is a hefty boy, he's got a thin skeleton. Art by Trisha Hall. Hi, thank you for the follow. Oh, Dylan, I love that emote. That is so freaking cute. So like I said, if anybody wants to claim this guy, he's got glow-in-the-dark mode on him too. Just let me know, he'll be 45 bucks, and you can PayPal me. Ms. Belladonna, thank you for the sub. If in the future you want to sub and get some, uh, some digital rewards, I highly recommend my, uh, my Patreon. My Patreon's the bee's knees. I love it. It's fun. It's got, like, digital rewards. It's got physical rewards. It's got pay-over-time options for... Uh, for commissions, a whole bunch of stuff. I love working on my Patreon every month. Thank you, Serenity. I also have a new one. Oh, you are on Patreon! Oh my god, Miss Belladonna, who are you? I'm so sorry I didn't recognize you. Thank you for being on my Patreon then! That goes for the rest of you. If you want some work in progress shots and all that, you can get on my Patreon too. I have a dollar tier, I have a three dollar tier, I have an eight dollar tier, I have a twenty dollar tier that's limited, and then I have uh, however many tier you want for paying for commissions. <gasps> Shelly! Hi Shelly! Oh man! So I'm sending out the Guardians on Monday, and your big package will probably be, hopefully, before Wednesday. So hang in there. I'm so sorry I, I get to it at the end of the month. Oh, Jer. It's okay. Not everybody has one, you know? Shelly, I'm so sorry I didn't know it was you. I feel bad. Thank you for being a patron. It's truly.
I'm excited to do it for you. I love giving people all the stories that I wrote. Really, it's really fun for me. I love the Guardian tier. It makes me so happy. Oh, so Shelly, since you're here. Um, also, uh, patrons get deals on ATCs I make. They get usually about $10 off. So it'd be 35 for a patron for this and 45 for a non-patron. And you could be even at the dollar tier and get that. These are this month's stickers that come with the $8 tier as well as uh, it's a hazelnut. It comes with lore and then here's the little guy. And this is the, the button and or magnet that people get with it. Um, this one's a magnet. But I make them like little bottles. Kind of like Pokemon, like you catch them. So when you've got a whole bunch of them up on your, your fridge or if it's a button on a bag or something, it looks like you've caught all these creatures and it's really cute. And I like it. I just made something I wanted myself. So <laughs> there's that. Um, but yeah, you get stickers, you get lore, you get a button or a magnet, you get this one thing. I don't even know... I keep going back and forth on what to call it. Sometimes I call it a buff, which I'd like to think it's a buff. Sometimes I refer to it as a fortune, but it's really an attribute of the guardian that you get bestowed upon you that month. So it's, you know, it's a thing. I know. Eh, so this has been a fun experiment. I might do this with a couple other animals. Maybe since so many of you are fox people, I could do a fox. That'd be cute. His tail could have some bones in it. Maybe I'll save that for next weekend. Um, but yeah, I think I might do... Go back to this other one here and finish this up. Since we did this at the beginning of the stream. God, that light is so jarring. Um, you love your magnets? Yay! Oh, I'm so glad. Well, Jeremy, I hope you get some rewards for some of that, you know? You deserve it. Um, okay. Really quickly, I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'm going to clean this brush so that the glow in the dark doesn't uh, solidify on it. So I'll be right, I'll be right back. Okay.
Goodbye, Thev. Thanks for coming. Sorry if I'm late saying goodbye. Oh, Serenity. They do not get nothing. You give the people stuff. You give them uh, your love and attention. <laughs> um, I thought I would show you guys what I'm kind of working on in terms of a hole lately. Um, this one's done. This other one's not. I'm doing this little three-piece print series of sleeping mice in, like, various places. Medieval places, of course. Um, this one is a mouse sleeping in a scroll. This one is a mouse in a mortar and a pestle bowl. Um, oh, thank you for the cheer, Shelly! Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. God, it's so crazy how people don't usually cheer anymore. I notice when they do, and then I'm like, oh man, that's right, cheers. Oh, this one's not done, um, but it's almost there. And then I'm going to do a third one, and then I'm kind of placing the mice and the candles so that they could be placed next to each other as like a three-piece. So that's those. And then I'm also doing tarot book card or bookmarks. Not cards, not a tarot deck yet. Uh, right now I'm making it so it's kind of easy for me to pick off some here and there. So I'm only doing the Major Arcana right now. Um, so I did the Fool recently. And you can kind of see the mock-up on uh, my Instagram if you want. But the Fool is a, is a moth that got too close to the flame. So that was this one. Um, and these will be bookmarks first cards later and then the card backings um, look like this this is uh, so I wanted the back to have a couple things to it so it's got the four seasons on it it's got night and day um, and it's got this little bird family that's kind of going through the stages of life so there he's making the nest this one he finds a mate and this one they have an egg and then this one, uh, they have the new one. And then the cycle starts again. So I thought that was really cute. So, <gasps> Megan, you're here. Hi, Megan. Megan, did you get your card? I sent your card yesterday, two days ago, something. Anyway, I want to post it online. So I want to know. Thank you, Valdana. Thank you. I'm going to call you that instead of your real name, just so people know who I'm talking to. But, um, yeah, so this will be the backing to the other one, so this one. And right now, I think I was working on either the Hermit or the Death card. I forget which one I was working on. So I'm doing tarot bookmarks, which I'll eventually sell in a set, too. I was thinking it'd be cool if, uh, if, like, there's a little long box full of these tarot bookmarks. Um long term and then this we did a long time ago on stream this is not the real colors these are the real colors so it's these kind of colors but uh we watercolored this on stream a long time ago at this point i don't remember when but it's not fully done as you can see here i was doing uh a lot of the lining and some shading and i haven't done the rest of it yet but this will be uh, available on my site at some point too but it's not there yet so let's finish some of this now so I like to dart back and forth between some dark things and some light things that's fine spongy I hope you're doing well um, and I am okay with you lurking and working because I would do the same and I love you too Oh, not yet? Okay. Mm, okay. That's weird. I sent it- well, it's a letter, though. It's not like your guardian. I think your guardians get there, like, the next day, where if I send you your ATCs, it's like a regular letter, which can take, like, five days. That's so dumb. Bye, Thev! Sorry I keep distracting you. <laughs> it's a chonky pumpkin. Yeah. It's a plumpkin. <laughs> oh, I like that. Plumpkins. Damn, I really like that. Plumpkins. That's gotta be a thing. Maybe. I'm gonna write that down. 
<laughs> plumpkins. If not plumpkin, then maybe a plumpkin. Anyway. Oh, my dog is still crying. She's so upset. Oh, Megan, you don't get guardians. I feel dumb. I meant that one time I sent you the guardian and it got there like the next day. I think because it's a package. Um. Okay, so we got a squirrel here. The squirrel is a pumpkin merchant. Because I have always seen squirrels eating the crap out of pumpkins after Halloween. Not only that, but they're just entitled and they do what they want and they eat what they want and they're jerks. I just don't like that they steal from my little birds. They always steal. Freeloaders, man. Freeloaders. And a sex act? Damn it. Why people gotta be ruining it? They're ruining the cute. Is it really called a plumpkin, though? Because I know something that's close to that, that's an Urban Dictionary thing, but not that exact term. Oh no, okay. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> that sucks. What about, okay, what about plompkin? Plomp, plompkin. Like plompkin. Maybe that's safer. I hope. Damn it! <laughs> Why didn't you guys tell me this, this thing wasn't even attached to anything? You guys. What are you doing? Your job is to look at my consistency here. Make sure it makes sense. <laughs> You guys are failing me. Failing! It's okay though. I don't blame you. I probably wouldn't be paying attention either, honestly. Morally safe. <laughs> Wayne. <laughs> then maybe I'll adopt Plopkin. So for my uh, my curious collectors that are here for my Patreon, I have the next couple months lined up for Guardians. And I'm thinking that two of them will be... Uh, and I'm, I can't decide if I want to do two months for this or t both of them in a month. But... I was gonna do little uh, coffee beetles and tea bugs, um, like tea bags and coffee beans. Um, but uh, cause I was I was making coffee the other day, and I I pulled out the little coffee thingy, and uh, all the coffee is ground except for this one bean, and it was just the shell of it. And I was like, oh my god, if there were coffee beetles, how cute would that be? It would mean I'd never probably drink coffee again because I'd have to grind up bugs but it was a cute idea so I might make those into uh, some guardians I'm thinking about it because a lot of my guardians usually have to do with nature but it's like I want to make some that are like household like little creatures you like the idea Shelly yeah I, I respect what you think about it because I mean you'd be you know You'd be on the other end of it. So if you like that, because I figure people are either coffee people or tea people. There are some people that are neither. Um, but I think they understand the tea and coffee people, you know. Um, I'm glad you like that idea. I got excited about it. I'm both. I'm both a coffee and a tea person, depending on the day. Um, if I had to pick, though, it'd be coffee. But I try to get both of them in there because I know they both have some health benefits and it's not good to get kind of addicted to one or the other more you know 
Though I suppose if you got addicted to one, it'd probably be smart to get addicted to tea. As opposed to coffee. But anyway. Different things for different days, you're saying one? That's crazy good. Like, it's so much harder to find uh, decaf coffee with certain tastes, you know? Um, so then I usually go to an herbal tea. My favorite herbal tea is Roybo's. Um, I can't do chamomile, man. I don't know what it is. There's a Roybo's one I really like, and uh, there's one that's like licorice and peppermint. Oh, that one's really good. Because it's like um, the sweetness is natural. It's part of the licorice, the anise. It, oh, it's good. That's true, Megan. That's true. Oh my god. I'm just, I'm thinking of these little tea bugs and these coffee beetles. Oh my god. They're so cute. Oh. I want to draw them. Though I suppose the people that have an aversion to bugs might have a problem with this. I'll try to make them cute enough to where it's okay. That maybe they won't hate it, you know. Megan, I keep meaning to message you about some things on Twitter, and I keep forgetting. Also, your guy never sent me an email. Tell him to send me an email. Alright, Cavendish. Have fun. Sometimes mowing the lawn can be kind of fun. <laughs> is this even on random? It is. Weird. This one in the back is a bag, but right now it looks like another pumpkin. I need to change that. So how are you guys doing Halloween this year? Is anybody doing anything different? I had a thought of an idea that I put on my Twitter and uh, such yesterday that if anybody here has kids or you know is sad about trick-or-treating you could do what I've dubbed the dark Easter or the quarantine Halloween um, where you remember those 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 party tricks for Halloween parties that were like you skin grapes and you put them in a bowl and their eyeballs and stuff like that you would make kids go through those trials to get their candy so it's like Easter with a dark twist. So they have to find the candy and then do whatever trial is there. So maybe one is a creepy box that's like decorated so they don't know if something's gonna grab their hand. Or they have to go down in the dark basement and grab it from like a laundry basket, you know? Or like reach under the bed, stuff like that. And you could put something nasty under the bed, like wet spaghetti, you know? I don't know. But it, it might be a cute alternative to uh, COVID candy, I guess. <laughs> but I thought that'd be cute. It was an idea. Right? I'm with you. 
Dennis, I'm gonna call you botched on this one. Botch. Man, I was so hyped at last year's Halloween that I was gonna do like a bunch of stuff. And I don't usually do a bunch of stuff for anything, but I was gonna do a bunch of stuff. And, um, you know, I got everything ready and we had, this was our first Halloween in this house. We had no one show up. Like all the kids must, it's kind of a outside of our areas of rich neighborhood. So they must have gone somewhere else. Um, like to, you know, rich neighborhoods around the area or something. Because, man, they were not here. We got two people that were driving around doing the thing. And I kid you not, they must have been pretty used to not coming to this house. I was creepy and I ran the candy down to them. <laughs> I was like, wait, here, take this. They're like, oh my gosh, thank you. It's like, man, I bought candy to give to people. And they were full-size candies. You know? And I had all my lights on and everything. They should have came up. Anyway. So now I know that no one ever comes up here anyway. So, whatever. It was a bummer, though. I really thought we were going to have trick-or-treaters because there's kids everywhere here. But nope. Oh, yeah. That's a really cute idea, though, Megan. No one comes to her house? But the town has lots of people in it. Oh. Speaking of your mom... Um, speaking of your mom, um, I have to go over to her place at some point soon. I don't know when it's going to be because I have to find a, uh, kind of blank spot in my schedule. But, um, because she had made me the acorn hat and it's a little big, so she wanted to fix it. Um, so she's going to do it live. So if you ever want to, you know, just, I don't know, be there, maybe we can, like, coordinate our times. Triangulate triangulator times then we could be there don't worry I'll mask up I promise Oh, really? I could wait that long if you want. It's up to you, though. If you're like, nah, I don't need to see Ashley right now. It's cool. I don't need to see me either. But for real, you know how busy I am, and I feel terrible telling your mom no. But if I could buy myself some more time, because <laughs> I need to get some stuff out then, you know. This child is nude. I'm gonna give it some shoes, cause damn. Put some clothes on, child. It is naked. It probably will end up being close to then. I, I hate to tell her that, but it probably will be. It'd probably be best at the beginning of a month, because the end of a month is always me scrambling for Patreon stuff, so... That would probably be best. Other than it being a little big, though, she did amazing on it. Like, I love it. It's so cute. Is your dog with your 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 mom or is is your dog with you, Megan? Oh. 
Oh, you have a brother. Dog is with mama. Ooh, puppy. I just got the dog and the cat. Yeah, I like your new frog. Oh, speaking of, do you want, now that um, I'm super late with your frog portrait, do you want me to add your new one in? I can do that. If you just want me to throw the new one in there. If you do, uh, email me because I want to like talk about what they're wearing and stuff. If you want them wearing anything. I know we talked about the creeping up on... The, the, I think crickets or mealworms or something. But since, since it's my fault and they're so late, we can totally do that. Do it. Yeah. Sorry, I try not to talk about, like, personal... Like things between me and other people on the stream because I feel bad. I'm not trying to alienate anybody. Feel free to uh, interrupt us. I just find myself doing that. I'm sorry. Damn focus. I bought this camera because it had manual focus, but that doesn't help me if manual focus isn't working. Good, Jamie, how are you doing? Sorry, Jamil. I'm trying to use people's screen names now. Even though I know a lot of people's names, I'm trying to not make it confusing for people when I'm talking to certain people. Well, thank you, Serenity. I just want to be respectful. Snippets and stuff, huh? What are snippets, Jamil? You mean like, um, do you have a creature called a snippet? Or do you mean like sketches? Or. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not familiar. Familiar, not familiar. Ashley, come on. <laughs> no worries, Tad. No worries at all. No, I'm used to people lurking, so don't- you guys don't feel like you ever have to talk. I mean, I understand that a lot of people come here just to kind of draw and do whatever, so... I mean, if you're here and you're lurking and you're drawing, hey man, that's a win. Though I do appreciate the company of people talking. No pressure. Anyway, 
I guess that's the plus of the game, or sorry, the art stream versus the game stream. Game stream, everybody's like super high energy and everything, and sometimes I am too, but, um, you know, typically art streams I think just naturally are more chill. So never feel bad about that. I don't either. I felt bad that, um, like, I, I was supposed to talk to a friend this week, and it's like, I don't have anything to talk about. Like, nothing is new with me, you know? To do off September as a challenge, I call snippet timber. Snippet timber. We tell small stories about an illustration. Well, good. I like it, Jamie. Jamel. I like it. That's smart. That's that's basically a book. Um, I remember one Inktober in 2014 I used as a, a way to do my Grigor book. So the book that's in my store, the Grigor one, that was a whole Inktober. And then I basically did an Inktober in May that I ended up making a book too. So the cool thing about doing a month-long challenge is it's basically the perfect number of pages for a perfect bound book. Granted, if it wasn't the number of pages for a perfect bound book, you could still saddle stitch it and, you know, just, which means like a stable bound it, you know. But if you do have, I think it's close to 40 makes a perfect bound book, then you can make it into a book. So that's cool. It's a good way to do it. So Jamie, you could totally, Jamel, you could totally make it into a book. Oh no! Ooh, Jamel, I don't even want to know! Snip temper. I don't even know, I mean, my mind goes straight to circumcision, but that wouldn't make sense. I don't, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Is that what you guys thought too? Like, what is, what is this? Uh, I'll look later. <laughs> Sorry, I try to keep my channel pretty clean. But once in a while, I feel like you just can't. So I'm going to finish inking this. And then we'll quickly do some tones on it. Um... And we'll finish it that way. Men and male animals. Interesting. Well, I guess I wasn't too far off. You cut your hair every day. That'd be a strange challenge, wouldn't it? Do try to cut your hair every day. Do you hear the thing go? Gabe? Do you hear the thing go? Okay. Also, sorry if the music's a little janky. For some reason, I must have updated my computer or something, but um, it wasn't reading my media output under the right channel, and I don't know why. That's cool, JMO. Do the challenges, do the things, do all the things. If you got the want to do it, do it. I haven't done a monthly challenge in a while. I've, I've started doing my own, I guess, without talking about it, I think. So like when I did my light mouse story, I just wanted to do a story. Because I was sick of not doing stories. So I kind of snapped and just decided to do a story. Yeah. 
This time next year I'm hoping to be knee-deep in writing a good lot of my books. Sorry, not writing them, illustrating them. Because I've already gotten three of them written. I just need the time to illustrate them and then I can put them out. It's just getting the time to do it that's technically paid for. Which is what I'm trying to do with my Patreon. I'm trying to get my Patreon to be kind of self-sufficient so I can do that. Um, so it kind of pays for, you know, the bills every month, but then I can, you know, have the time paid for that I would need uh, to do my books and stuff. So that's, that's big for me. That's a goal. That's probably my biggest goal I've got right now. It is a very large goal. The hardest part about Patreon I'm finding is it's really difficult to market it. Especially, you know, depending on what you're doing on your Patreon. It's really hard to get people on board. Especially if you're me and you have, like, a, a tier on it that you can't really, like, divulge anything about. Like, my Curious Collector tier, I can never really... I guess show the story or anything to anybody because I want it to be a surprise. So I just have to say, hey, every month you get a monthly, like, you know, guardian story. And I was thinking about showing an old story, you know, as an example. And I might still do that, but I'm, I'm on the fence right now. I gotta figure out how to do it. Just so people can be like, oh yeah, what am I getting myself into? And relaxing oh good you like to be surprised I'm glad that's kind of you know I don't know and I don't want to share too much about what's going on but I gotta mark it you know so I at least keep the story under wraps but I think the visuals help sell it so I don't know if anybody who is here is a curious collector and you know people who would be into it please share stuff about it and tell them because the more help I can get in that area, the better. And I feel like that particular tier is so dependent on word of mouth that I can't even, like I've paid for so many ads for people to see what that tier is about, but A, it's hard to even talk about on the internet without being too verbose. But, you know, it's more like the most patrons I've got from pitching that tier have been in person. Either me at a convention, or friends telling other friends about it, you know? <laughs> Has anybody made an OnlyFans for their dog or something where it's not gross, but it's like cute? I feel like that'd be really cute. I would give money to that. OC Impostober. You dress your OCs as other people's OCs, like Halloween costume. That's cute. JML, I hate the name though. I get it, oh, but it's like, ah, oh, that's so hard, because the OC does fit into October, but the OC in Postober, it's, it's so long. That's so, I don't know, what could you do? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you could do. Oh, really? It was taken? Oh my god. Gabe and I were being super facetious one day, and we were like, let's just, let's just make an art challenge that's called October, and it's all octopus every day of the month, and each day is a different octopus, and you could just use the hashtag October. <laughs> We consider doing it. I think he might. I don't know. It was funny though. Yeah, it sucks that you can't use the oct part. 
the every day a new uh, octopus, Megan? Yeah, I don't know. Hi, Art Pat. How are you? Anyway, we were just trying to be dumb, but I, yeah, if there is OC Tober, which is October, like that, that challenge is gonna have some trouble. I feel like maybe they should have done OC underscore Tober, but oh man. Yeah, like JML, yeah, like you just said. And it's just October, right? But that was the funny thing when we thought of October, like octopus. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> you guys get it. It's just silly. Oh, cooking and baking. That's... What are your same old hobbies then? In the octagon. I just, I feel like people are going to burn out soon with all the challenges. Like, all the challenges. Also, I'm surprised this hasn't breached into writing. You know, like, I know there's NaNoWriMo, or NaNoWriMo, depending on how, you know, you want to say it. But, like, you know, the whole drawing prompts, I know some people who are writers take them and they kind of, you know, appropriate them. But I'm surprised that writers in general haven't kind of started making their own and maybe they have and i'm just not in that demographic so i wouldn't see it but i don't know i don't know You mean one character and then just dress it up a bunch, Jamie? Is that what you mean? Jamil? Damn it. I keep doing that. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so sorry for this camera. I don't know why it keeps doing that. It is not supposed to do that. Oh, now it's doing it. Okay, wait. Because it's supposed to be manual focus. But it's not. It's auto-focusing, and I don't know why. if it's set on it somewhere else. I'm gonna have to look into it again. I feel dumb about it. I know, I know. I know it refocused on my hand. Before last week, it wasn't doing that at all. It was just manual focus. I got to turn the dinger, and it would focus when I wanted it to. I'm also trying to draw like this. It's a good camera. It's a very expensive camera, but... Gabe was screwing around with the settings and I think he screwed up what I had. So I have to go back in and get it uh, calibrated to what I had it before he took it. So it is a Canon something. EOS M200. Hey Ruckus, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, he messed with my settings. Never messed with someone. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. So I'm trying to draw at least, like, you know, down like this so you're not... It's hopefully not... I'll, I'll keep looking to make sure it doesn't. Sorry about that. Seems to be good for a majority of the time. But thank you for letting me know. It's, I know it's annoying. I'm sorry. Oh, I totally forgot about back here. Yeah, 
You got food safe certified? Hey! There you go. I actually took an online cooking baking class and I really, really enjoyed it. I did learn about food safety and I took the surf safe food handling thing. You pass it. That's good! Good job, Pat. Good job. Oh, that's a good, uh, a good exercise, JML. How's your streaming going? I know you were streaming at some point. Are you still streaming? I guess I should have asked that first, but... Choncho. Hey. No problem. But, uh, your affiliate, nice. Well, that's as far as we'll ever get. <laughs> Not to be that guy, but oh my god. Gabe and I have been streaming for, uh, come on, focus, jerk. Um, Gabe and I have been streaming now for f over four years, and we freaking can't make partner. Partner is basically impossible. For at least artists, it's a lot more possible for uh, game streamers, but... Shit, where was I? Man, I totally forgot where I was. No paw. Yeah, they won't. They just won't. It's kind of sad. It's too bad. I'm gonna freehand some gourds up here because I wanted some more. More gourd! No, it's not a big camera. It's like a digital camera. It's, um, it looks like this. So usually I refocus using, you know, the, uh, the lens there manually because if there's one thing you want when you're doing traditional art, streaming, video, what have you, it's manual focus. Because right now, for some reason, like I said, it's auto-focusing, so I need to figure that out again. I had fixed it like a month ago, but now it's not. Bye, Tad! Thanks so much for coming. I love having you on, Tad. I miss you, homie. Alright, I'm going to erase what we got and see where we're at. If I can find my eraser. Don't worry, this time I made sure that all the ink is basically dry. So we're gonna tone it similar to that guy. Kinda. Kinda similar. Yes, Jamie, I know. I'm very tech savvy, please don't forget that. <laughs> it's just for the moment, if I do anything with my setup right now, it could potentially crash. Well, whatever you've given me, I can't do it right now, unfortunately. Plus, I'm at the end of my stream. Or near it. I mean, there is a thing on here, and I'll show you. You're going to see really close. So, if I click here, see how it says uh, autofocus disabled? If I click it and I enable it, um, menu then it says it's enabled or it's disabled like it goes back and forth yeah yeah this word it says disable enable and both of them are doing the same thing so i don't know what to do at the moment other than that 
And then it will let me actually like mess with the lens, but like it, I don't know why the steel is. Yeah, so it's, it's a little deeper, I think, than that. I'm gonna have to dig a bit. It's being silly. <sighs> but thank you for your help. I appreciate it. Schrodinger's cam. Basically, right? Oh, that's really weird. I've never heard of that before. Do you ever figure out what's wrong with it, or does it still always do that? That's a really weird thing. Come on, refocus. Bastards. God, that is so weird. I wonder if it's because of where the lens is. Sorry about this. Kind of half troubleshooting while I'm looking at it. See, now it won't even focus at all. It's like doing this combo autofocus, not autofocus bullshit. Which I don't understand. Oh, that's weird. Well, maybe it's your computer's fault if that's the constant between the two. That'd be my guess, anyway. Troubleshooting through chat is kind of funny. It's almost impossible, it feels like. Is anybody doing anything cool the rest of the weekend? Like, what's on Sundays to do for y'all? Serenity, have people gotten any better at your work? I know you were talking about how crappy they can be. Oh yeah, Megan, how's your podcast going? I'm sorry if I have missed retweeting some of your stuff. I have seriously taken a back seat on uh, most all social media and it has been the best thing I've done in a long time. Though I still have to keep up with it somewhat to, uh, you know, to maintain appearances and whatever, being that it's kind of my job, but <laughs> um, for the most part I'll just like post and leave. Especially Twitter. Twitter is so scary. I don't know. Especially with uh, politics and everything. Everybody's just yelling and it's just anxiety fueled all over the place. It's crazy. I just rarely see anything positive anymore on there, so I don't even... I don't even go on there. Yeah, and I've done that for most things. Like, uh, you know, most most of the stuff that I can't handle anymore, I, I do mute it and stuff. But then, 
then it's like, oh yeah, this tweet contains words that you've muted. And I'm like, does it? And I get all, you know, curious and stuff. I just wish it wouldn't show it to me. But instead it tells me it's not showing me. And then it's like, do you want to view it? And I'm like, well, now I do. Damn it. <laughs> It's like, thanks for nothing, Twitter. I have problems with being curious, so it's my own fault, really. But I'm still mad they do that. It's like if somebody's told you that they have kind of like a trigger word or something, it's like, okay, why are you not fully hiding it? Oh, I like that, Cavendish. That's a good use of the platform. Thank you to you for being positive. See, I forgot a whole line right there. That's crazy. Oh, I guess it's daytime here. I was gonna do a nighttime scene, but it's a little too late. I already did like some sunlit area here. Which actually I'm gonna go with. It's just I wanted to do this lamp. Maybe I could still do the lamp. Maybe the lamp's on. Maybe it's getting to be twilight or something. You're special, you're special to me, there's only one in this wonderful world. Oh. Proud of you for the times you came in second or third or fourth, but what you did was the best you had ever done. Oh, that's cute too. I like it. Thank you, Cavendish. Those are nice. I also like Winnie the Pooh quotes. Those are typically win. Though, <laughs> uh, I have a, like, a yearly print I make that I include with orders over, like, 20 bucks. And, um, every year I make it a different one, right? So it's kind of like a collectible thingy. I don't really make it known very well, but, um, anyway. This year's was a Winnie the Pooh quote, where he says, um, Some nothings lead to the very best somethings. And I took that and I put that on the back of the print, hoping that somebody would get what I got out of it. And then now I'm, I'm wondering if maybe that was a bad call. Just because I don't want people thinking that, you know, I'm in... Uh, encouraging laziness. I hope they understand that, you know, sometimes being bored leads you to some of the best things, you know. But anyway, I don't know if that's the effect it's had, but I hope so. I hope nobody's like, ah, oh, this chick's lazy. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. 
But if there's one thing I've never been called, it's lazy. If I'm ever called lazy, I think I'll, uh, I'll flip my shit. Like, Marty McFly style. Can't you win? Welcome. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Thank you, Serenity. I appreciate that. It is validating hearing it from someone else, most definitely. Nix. Nixasa? Nixasa? Am I saying that right? Thank you for the follow. Nix. Nixasa? Nixasa? Nizasa? Maybe it's Nizasa. Normally I'd be terrified of my sister's adorable set. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, for those that are, are coming in. Um, oh. That's very sweet, Serenity. That means a lot to me. It really does. Um, for those just coming in, we did this at the beginning of the stream. This one is kind of cool because it's got a, a skeleton underneath or over, I guess. And he's kind of like a mad scientist. Um, maybe you can kind of see it. So there's a glow-in-the-dark component to that one, which is really fun. Hard to do on a stream, though. Gotta be honest. Um. Thanks, homie! Yeah, JML, shoot! Thank you. Thank you. I was planning on doing a couple others. This one's for sale, and then I'm gonna do uh, a few others, too. Maybe, like, a fox, or... I don't know. Something else. Something with a skull x-ray type thing. I typically do these on my stream every Saturday at 5 p.m. Central. Um, and I try to do pieces that I can start and finish on stream. So people could snag them if they want to. Because you guys get first dibs since you're here, you know. Um, but yeah, otherwise I just try to make it an enjoyable experience that you get to see the start to finish. Because I know when I was watching streams... I got kind of irritated by only seeing like a snippet of someone's bigger piece and I'd rather see kind of the start and finish of one, you know? If you don't want to say their name, are you saying like if it's inappropriate or something? Take all your money. Oh, you're so sweet. Well, I have an Etsy and I have books and prints and all those sorts of things. Or if you want to give to my Patreon instead of subbing on Twitch, let's say, because at least then on my Patreon you get something. I have $1 tiers, $3 tiers, $8 tiers. $8 starts the physical rewards, so maybe check that out. Um, I mean, depending on what it is, Jamie, I've, in the past, I've, like, kind of adapted saying it. Or just said, I don't want to say your name, but thank you for, you know, following. <laughs> you can just say that, you know. Or if, because they know their name is inappropriate, you know. Can't you win? Did I say it right? I tried to. But yeah, Nix, Nixasa or Nixasa. I don't know. I think it's kind of part of the fun, isn't it? Like watching somebody try to pronounce stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Moobot. <laughs> Silly Moobot. Um... I'm gonna go over these real quick again since we have a bunch of people that have come in recently. Uh, so, hi, I'm Cloverkin. I'm Cloverkin everywhere online, except Twitter. It's Cloverkin Art. Um, and lately, the projects I've been working on 
that you can follow on my Instagram to see more of. I do a lot with stories typically too, but um, I had started a tarot series, uh, but the tarot, it's, I'm not doing a tarot deck right off the bat. I'm doing tarot card bookmarks. So that way I can kind of do them and sell them along the way. And if I end up making a deck, cool. If, you know, I don't, then I've got some bookmarks. Also cool. So this one first was the first one. It's a, a moth as the fool. And then, um, and I did these on stream too. So you can actually see these. I'm going to have the next one, I hope, by next weekend that I can work on. And then this is the tarot card back. Um, it's got all four seasons on it. It's got sun and moon, and it's got a little bird family that, you know, if you follow it around the circle here, it's kind of the whole cycle of life, you know. And then I was working on another kind of three-piece uh, print series of mice sleeping in cute areas. So this is like a in a mortar and a pestle dish. Uh, this one's in a scroll. So you can usually find me working on these during streams. My more serious work, uh, you can see those here. It's one of my hashtags. Um, and I mean, obviously on my Instagram. But anyway, just wanted to recap that quick for anybody coming in. But I do appreciate drawing really cute, simple situations because they're happy and I think nowadays people are in need of happy, you know? A basket full of cats? Yeah! You wish they would follow you because their name? Yeah, they're- oh, I remember that name made me smile. Totally. It's a Native American translation. I'm Lenape on my mom's side and trying to learn language. That's cool. Conshawin. Oh, damn. I was close. Con or Greg. I just, that's really pretty, Conshawin. I love that. Ah, thank you, Serenity. Yeah, my YouTube isn't exactly up and going yet. I've got 200 videos on it, but honestly, it's just Twitch videos that have been forwarded there. Um, but I will start that soon. I'm not sure how soon, but I've got a bunch of ideas for it, and I wanted to start doing it a couple months ago, honestly, but I have not had the ability to do it. So, soon though. Hopefully soon. Hopefully in the next couple months, really. Sorry if this is a terrible noise. If it is, let me know, and I will pull up on it and not use this right now. I just need it for the, I think, the first bit, though. That's all, really. I know if it were me listening to it, I'd have an issue with it. Really? Oh, gotcha one. I'm glad. Yeah, I try to be a little bit mindful, at least, of people who have some sound triggers. I'm technically one of those. Like, I have problems with people chewing. The, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, misophonia. Misophonia I have a problem with. Just people who smack and chew and bleh. Can't do it. I'll make that gold. smart cast. Oh, I wonder if anybody has like an art podcast where they draw but they're just talking like during their drawing but it seems kind of stupid so it's like why would you have that? I know some artists have it where they like 
you know, talk about art stuff, obviously, but uh, I'm just trying to be a smartass right now. <laughs> that just seems like a funny thing. Kind of like when they do bits on the radio that are funny, and it's like, bro, we cannot see what you're doing. Granted, sometimes they post videos now. I remember one one radio show I used to follow uh, would post the, the funny bits they did, at least of the video of it online. Oh yeah, when, when you're hungry. Oh my god. I don't know if you could hear my stomach just now, but oh my god. <laughs> Is that so sweet? Oh jeez. <laughs> Cavendish. Yeah, if you're one of those people that accidentally spits a lot when you talk into the microphone and whatever, you should get one of those, uh, the spit guards. Oof. Hmm. Not dark enough. So if anybody has come in that's one of my curious collectors on my Patreon, um, your guardians will be going out on Monday. ArtPat, thank you for that follow. I really appreciate it. So I'll probably end up going in the next like 20-ish minutes or something, so if anybody has any questions about what I'm doing or anything you want to know, uh, let me know. Bye, Jamil. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. Pop filter. <laughs> Ooh, Disney recipes. Cute. What are your options? Maybe we can help you. I've always wanted to try those uh, Ghibli foods they've shown. Like some people have figured out recipes for those, I'm always like, oh my god. Let strangers on the internet make decisions for you. Hey, sometimes that can be fun. I mean, oh man. Um, so some of you are new-ish to the point you haven't seen us really do a uh, holiday stream. So for holiday streams, uh, Gabe and I usually do commissions. 
and Gabe is my partner and Gabe is this guy um, and we usually do like half price commissions where they're super cheap and we do them live on the stream for you um, but it's basically like you know you pay us and you get put in the queue and we just go down the list and we do you know the, the stuff for you I'm thinking we'll do it this year too because quarantine would be kind of the perfect time to do it so we dress up for Halloween streams and uh, I guess mark this down on your calendar because we'll do it we don't have anything else to do um, so uh, on Halloween then we dress up and you can look back uh, on my YouTube and find our past ones and we have like a, a thing where how much are they it's like 30 or 40 bucks one of the two and you get like a five by seven which is like three times bigger than uh, the normal price thing but you might even get it for 20 if you're a patron I forget um, but uh, you end up telling us all the specs you want either in chat or a DM or something and we just go and we ask you things as we're doing it and each one takes maybe half an hour to an hour um, so it's kind of a cool gimmick because you get to see how it's made, you know, but you also get it for cheaper. So if you're ever in kind of money troubles, but you still want something like an OC done, those are the times to come do it. And usually we do it every single holiday, like um, a couple years we were doing it, Thanksgiving, uh, Halloween, uh, Christmas, and then for New Year's we celebrate all four time zones uh, in the U.S., so after an hour we'll do happy new year and then it's an hour and then happy new year and we interrupt our like commission system to do that so um we also have this cool little sweepstakes wheel i guess so if you uh do 20 bucks something like that i can't remember if it's 20 or 30. if you do the lower amount you can get whatever it is in grayscale but if you do the higher amount you for sure get that but a size up uh, in grayscale, but you could also win a free color upgrade, or uh, we've got books and merch and stuff that it can land on, and it comes up as a wheel. And it's really cute, and I enjoy it because we play this little da -da 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 -da, like little game show music, and the wheel comes up. Anyway, it's fun. I call it the Willow the Wheel, kind of like Willow the Wisp, but Willow the Wheel. It's hard to say. <laughs> Oh, carrot cake, yes. Belladonna, I'd love to have you. I think you'd get a kick out of it. Anybody who's usually there comes back the next year because it's so much fun. So I'll try to pimp that early. Yeah, John Miller's been here for him. So has Serenity. So has a few of you, actually. So have a few of you. Oh, John, I love it when you're there. It's so much fun. Oh, and if we end up getting more commissions than we have time for on the stream, what we end up doing then is the next stream will work on it. So you literally get put in a queue that for sure you will see yours get done. Aaron Schmitz, thank you for the follow. So no matter what, you get to see your commission get done. So it's pretty fun. We enjoy doing it. So you get to pick if you want it done by me or my partner Gabe. Gabe is more sci-fi um, and kind of a rough Mobius style. I'm more fantasy traditional. Uh... Oh, Belladonna, thank you for the extra hundred. Look at the happy heart. Oh my God. Sometimes you can hear my Minnesota come out. Oh my God. That's so cute. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Shelly, you're wonderful. Thank you. So it should be a good time, you know, and the main reason we started doing them, like before we were doing the, the cheaper commission aspect of it, we were actually doing it just to keep people company because it's the holidays and, um, you know, during the holidays, there are some people that don't have anywhere to go or people to see. So we wanted to be there and kind of be supportive for anybody who needed someone. You know, and I mean, I'm one of those people. I don't, 
I don't see my family. Uh, my family kind of doesn't exist. So I figure that those like me and me can all kind of hang out. Um, and I, I f it's never failed to be a positive experience. I think we've always had fun. Um, so it turns into one of those things where it's like, if you don't want to be alone, you know. <laughs> Dennis, why'd you sub? Thank you. <laughs> I love you, Dennis. Thank you. <laughs> Especially this year. Yeah, Cavendish, you're completely right. Um, oh, thank you, Belladonna. Yeah, I mean, I know how it goes, you know. Holidays are really hard you know so for those that don't have anywhere to go literally like quarantine and all that we're here for you that's fine serenity that's fine i think last year's worked out differently because now you get that upgrade right so and serenity you know you get whatever you want you want your vip you're absolutely vip You've been here forever. Serenity's been here since the beginning of us streaming and everything. She's, like, top tier VIP. So whatever you want, honey. <laughs> oh yeah, Dennis? Assuming it happens? <laughs> I am so up in the air about next year like what's even gonna happen i feel like a lot of cons right now are just planning for next year to be digital um i know ohio con uh that's in ohio ohio con is already just throwing in the towel and saying it's virtual uh they're in uh january that one takes place so they're already calling it going virtual which you know it's the smart thing to do it's just crazy that, you know, we're to that point. I'm getting hungry. Finish this though. That's smart, Asling. I I feel like we're gonna do the same thing with Gabe's. Like sometimes, you know, um, we go over there, but not always. But this this year for sure, is his family usually gets together. Um, but it's like, you know, especially those of you with boomer parents, parents that are over a certain age, you don't want to endanger them, you know? It's just better to be smart. Having a dinner together isn't worth one of y'all dying. I won't, Serenity. I won't. I couldn't. You know I can't. I never regret anything. I've made it a point in my life to never, never regret anything. You make the choices you do, when you do, for the reasons you do. Things happen, you learn from it. I feel like every experience gives you some sort of insight into another one, right? Stuff like that. Like, there's got to be a reason. Like, do I regret leaving the gaming industry to do this? No. You know, do I feel like part of my life was potentially wasted going to art college and stuff so I could have a game industry job? No. I don't feel like that's wasted at all. I've used it in other ways, you know. I just feel like if you regret a certain part of your life, you haven't thought about the, what you've gotten out of it and what it could apply to enough. You know. I feel like it's important to make sure 
things are justified in your life that you do. You know? Plus, regretting is just a waste of time. Changing the color on this. You're right, it does feel weird inviting people and all that. We are at definitely a weird point in, in humankind, race, all that stuff. Tensions are so crazy high and so stupid. America's being so stupid. For those of you who are overseas, don't worry, a lot of us Americans know we're stupid right now. Or at least we know we're smart and the rest of America is being stupid. And it's very frustrating. <laughs> there you go, Cavendish. I mean, even if it wasn't worth it, what can you do about it? You know, other than change your current situation, you can't change what happened then, right? Yeah. Same here, Hesling. Same here. I totally understand what you're talking about. I'm scared too. Uh, not to get political, but we have a Trump supporter across the street, and Gabe's Mexican, like 100% Mexican, and we just assume she's racist because, I mean, you kind of have to to stay safe, so we try to avoid her and stuff, because it's scary, you know? It's scary for him. Definitely. Anybody else in the area. We don't know if, you know, how far they take his, you know, his diatribe or whatever. Like, we don't know. Better safe than sorry. Wear your mask, too. Better safe than sorry. Anyway. I try not to do that on my stream. I'm not very political, but there's some things that are just common sense. <laughs> you fear the worst. Yeah, I actually read an article yesterday about how majority of the world is entertained by the U.S., but also scared for us. And we're scared for ourselves, believe me. Most of us that have a brain. And the rest of us are just, like, ultimately frustrated. Yeah, I know, Belladonna. I just, I feel bad people come here usually to kind of escape that sort of talk. So I don't, I don't like to go there very often. Just because I want to keep the, the fantasy aspect of the, the allure of the page here, the Twitch channel. So people can escape the, uh, the politics for a minute, if need be. God knows I do. Right, Brishna? It is scary. I don't blame him either, John. Not one bit. Don't want to go to Sweden right now. I, I believe it. Same, Asling. Same, Dennis. Same. <laughs> Agreed, Cavendish. Vote! <laughs> I 
All right, I think I'm gonna stop for now. This is kind of at a point where I just, I'm gonna just needle it, noodle, noodle at it or whatever. It'll just be a lot of little things now. So we got this done and let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna just go around and solidify some of the lighting and things like that. If anybody wants either of these, up for grabs. I'll just end up kind of polishing them. Uh, and then this guy, for those coming in late, he's got... There. I'm going to show it on this camera so you can see. Alright, that's the normal. There you go. See, it looks so much better on the camera. I don't get it. So every week right now I've been trying to do one of these glow-in-the-dark special ones on stream. So anyway, okay. Uh, so next weekend I'll hopefully have a tarot card I can do for you. Um, and maybe another ATC with some glow-in-the-dark stuff. Maybe I'll do the pencils ahead of time so that we can just go right into coloring it. Let's see what else. Um, yeah, please check out my Patreon. Um, I am really trying to get that up and going like in a big way so I can pay for doing my books next year because right now I have so many commissions that I can't even work on my own personal projects so next year I'm really shooting for and grinding for uh, making my own stuff hardcore but I need that time to be paid for so um, Patreon is the way to do it. Anyway, uh, I do have a store too. I'll throw out my socials in case you want Dr. Jackrabbit. All right, Cavendish, here. Uh, if you do, I don't think you're a patron, right? So if you're not, then it's the full 45 to uh, see Holly. Oh, I like your name. Thank you for the follow. Um, do. PayPal.me slash Cloverkin. That should work. And then it'll be yours. And I will send it to you. Make sure to give me your shipping address or an address you want it shipped to. And I will get it there for you. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm on Saturdays at 5 p.m. Central. Uh, I think that's it. I feel like there's another thing. No, not really. Okay. Thanks for coming, everybody. I appreciate your support and you being here and talking with me. It's been very fun. It always is. I always like streaming. I wish I could do it more. I don't have the time right now. I'm sorry. But also keep a, a lookout for those uh, those special streams. The next one is going to be Halloween, and we do half-price commissions, and we dress up, and it's fun, and I don't know, you'll have a lot of fun. <laughs>